Our goal today is to build this custom drop down component without using any external library. So this is how the finished component is going to look like. So I'm casting my Android device with screen copy if you want to use it also. So we can select. So if the content overflows, the maximum height is this. If it doesn't, we have this. Okay. So that's for Android. We can let's try for iOS. We can select this. Then when it's open, we can click outside of it to close. Then you can select that's for smaller screen iOS. Alright, so I make contents like this. So if you are interested in contents like this, please kindly like and subscribe. Let's try some code. This is what we will be starting with. So I'm using Espo because it's easier to set up and then get it up and running. Alright, so I'll start to code and when I need to talk, I'm going to talk. So just tag along and let's build this. <laughs> So you see this one issue that we are going to encounter if we decide to you know what let me do some grab over here then okay now if i open this you see this is still on top of it this one the second one is on top of it so we have to prevent that so to in order to do that we would have to use a model okay so we come over here and then wrap this with a model okay so now it works so our next um issue or problem we would have to solve is to position it right beneath the components 
on which it was triggered like we need to anchor it like how a normal drop down works okay so to do that you would have to create a ref and then measure its position and then use it to manage the top offset so doesn't um this does not overlay it then it work as expected so let me see on android so on android it does not work well let me bring the android screen right here so you see this is how it's working on android so and with this okay so hold on Android looks a bit higher, so let's subtract 32. In iOS, let's add 3 and then use final value. Great, now we would have to refresh since it's an on layout event. So nice. So now the next thing is to how to select. Alright, so that's for iOS. It's my Android device. Android, where are you? Okay. Great. Now it looks good on Android also. So now, the lights. Yeah. Use a cover also. Let me take the item. You get the item. Then we'll do whatever we want to do. So um, let's create a value property right here. It's going to be a string. Okay, so item and then you can do something over here. Something then you set value item dot value so and then after that you set expanded to force Alright, now let's come over here and then add the unpressed to this. Select. What, what's the name of the function? And select. Alright, so. React native. Okay, so now I'm time to use it. So over here. Um, value. Value of this. Okay, so Swift. And then now. okay great now let's make this component reusable so let's write some props for it so interface model props is it a model drop down props 
then now uh, we are going to take the data which is going to be of value string string label string and then on change handler so let's say on change is going to have um item and then maybe avoid and item is going to be the same as this don't do this mostly creates creates um yeah you know what Want to be a bad tutor, no. option item. Okay, so now we can come here and then use I have the data, I have the unchange. Okay, so unchange, we just do unchange, then we pass item. should have a placeholder this order which is going to be a string okay and then this or placeholder and then what else do we need to do Okay, data. Alright, now you can come here. So I have some countries array that I did over here. So let's use that. So you come over here. But first, you know the structure it doesn't meet what you are using so i'll format that so because formatted countries will be equal to countries c c for country and then we are going to return value c dot value and then you know what c dot label and then label going to be c dot first of all we want to use the flag so c dot flag some space and then c dot label okay now let's pass um, data is formatted data formatted countries on change let's just log it so let's do console dot log and then placeholder select country now we just have to refresh great oh i see so what are we displaying over here let's display the label great final one okay so we'll come over here we want to display the flag also so let's do item dot label great so this looks good so now we can reuse our uh, drop down so instead of this we we'll just do so value 
cut and then label <laughs> gato <laughs> I'm using gato but I can't speak Spanish <laughs> anyway value dog 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 is Peru right <laughs> no Peru I don't know what Peru and value What's what's that thing? You know what snake? <laughs> use yeah Python label. Please, if you know the label for a snake, just tell me, and then I can hear from here, and then put it there. So, in the meantime, while I wait for you, I'll use this, and then this will be select pet. Now, wait. Need to add this also. Mm, gato. Okay. This. Hold on. Command paste. Python. I have Google. Why don't I search? to be on <laughs> yeah wait so pero oh okay so double a great so when it overflows you see we have this so this is going to be it and if you need to add more features like styling customizing the button or whatsoever oh so this also works yeah so if you want to add more props you can go ahead and do that i'll be linking the repo in the description thank you for watching and see you in the next one please don't forget to like and subscribe i'm not fully back but I'm going to be making more content. So please like and subscribe. Bye bye. How do you hasta luego? Yeah, I'm 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 on Duolingo, so I'm trying to <laughs> I've been learning but these days I've been lazy. But yeah, it's good to